Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz and I'm bringing you the sweet soothing sounds of the river coursing through Overlook Mountain here in Paper Mario, the Origami King. Previously we started our ascent but we were stopped by a shady above ground Monty Mole who was you know, holding back on some plot relevant items. So we ended up having to go through an auction for him and amongst other things, saving a bunch of toads in the process. And now we're about to learn how to go fishing courtesy of our dear friend, Mr. Coops. So I will take the sap sister, please. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, prepare for just some relatively calm times here. How's it going? Dang old fish got my lucky rock. Oh. All right, well, let's go get it back then, shall we? Go fishing? Hell yeah, brother. Dang old fish got my lucky rock. Uh, you wanna help out? I can I can learn you how to fish. Yeah, that'll learn me. So, get a good old grip with the ZL and ZR. Oh, okay. And then, f oh, motion controls, okay. So I've actually been playing this game without <laughs> motion controls on, and so this is new to me, but we'll, we'll try it. Uh, because normally you literally just hold A and then press A when they get on. It's not nearly as good as it is, uh, with, oh, oh, hello, uh, like, say Animal Crossing. I'm literally, okay, this is fine. Well, we have to obviously go for the big one. Wait, what the, why is it not? Okay, okay hold back, rotating, not working. There we go. And then flick. What, what? <laughs> Motion controls. Flick. Uh, okay, I'm not flicking the, okay, maybe I just need to turn these off. Oof. Yeah, the flicking is not working. Uh, is this, is this broken? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, well now he's gone. Although we can also just get another old fish here. So you can catch regular cheap cheeps if you want, but it's not entirely necessary. We just have to be patient and kind and, oh shoot. I actually, I was pressing A. <laughs> there we have it. We caught a cheap cheap. It's really small. 23 centimeters. Nice. I earned the cheap cheap print. Cool. Thank you. It's good to have. Thank you for the save, by the way. All right. So let's go over here and let's see if we can make this work. Boom. Okay. Well, now it's, now it's back. Moving bobber. So yeah, it's, it's not like super great it's a little bit better when you're not focusing on motion controls excuse me there we go all right so now i have to wait this guy's a little bit tricky but just wait for the prompt and then pull in or reel in whatever just like you're actually fishing it's a little bit more awkward when uh you have a microphone right in front of you but it's a bite and it's an origami mm, cheap cheap how dare you all right, so he's gonna look real dumb here, isn't he? Huh. So how are we gonna do this? Three moves? Uh, all right, well, I say we bring this one down one and then rotate that right there, that right there, call it good. And because I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna be good, uh, let's go with the fire flower. I would like some cooked cheap cheap, please. Let's see if we can get all of them. All right, timing. Oh, bad timing, of course. That first one is always weird, but there we go. Nice. Always satisfying. Except for when it's not. Nice. All right. You got a ton of cash out of that. Sweet. So that's number three. Blue shell stone. Fished from the belly of a cheap sheep. So freaking cold and so freaking dark. Yeah, that's the third one out of four. We're picking them up like candy. Which probably isn't good these days. <laughs> yeah, it weren't real mine. Can you take it on back to the temple and uh, maybe don't tell them where you found it? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, you don't seem like the religious type. Now, the thing is, there are still two other things that we can catch here. And we're probably gonna need it. But no, I'm, I'm a fine cap catch. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. And what we're looking for is a very unusually shaped fish. One that is fraternizing as a real one. So let's grab this one. Actually, surprise, kind of got that. And when it bites, Ugh. oh yeah, it's oh, it's fake. Don't let that one get away now. Whack him, whack him over the head. There you go. Just like you do in real life with an aluminum bat. 
but multiple times because you have a weak swing and it just doesn't get the job done. <laughs> nice. All right. And last but not least is going to be the rarest of them all. You'll be able to tell which one it is by the glint of its shadow, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but this is one we're going to grab before we move on for obvious reasons, for good ones, you know? So if any one of you guys want to go ahead, do me a favor and get a little glinty, that'd be fantastic. The crows are back. That's fantastic. If they get too bad, I might end up walking over there during this and hoping that uh, I can scare them away. They were up really early this morning and they were just cawing right outside of our window and we keep it open so that we can let cool air come in. And we also have a portable AC and uh, it just it woke me up at like seven o'clock and I was like, great, this is perfect. Uh, yeah, I might go and do that, but um, we're looking for a fish that glints and obviously it is not happening here. Let's maybe exit and then come back and I'm gonna go take care of that right now. Okay, have I ever mentioned how stupid crows look? Because right as I opened the sliding glass door, they just like have their stupid beaks open like, eh? What's going on around here? What are you doing? This is my place. Oops, do the thing, please. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty good at this. I'm glad this one showed up. Ooh! Right when it did, but holy smokes, man. Look at that. Look at that. We got a treasure. Perfect. Folded Bowser. Nice. God, it looks so dumb. <laughs> it reminds me of those uh, st like stretchy face puzzles in uh, Mario Party. But we caught all the fishes in the treasure spot, so that's pretty good. I am done fishing. Cool. Please and thank you. Let's get out of here. I need some confetti, apparently. But uh, what's really unusual about this particular segment is if even if you've saved like you guys saw me do at the end of the last part and you try to go up here, Olivia's going to get mad at us and say, aren't you going to save here? It's like, I already did. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not a child. We'll go and save. And it's probably not for a bad reason, because if we try to go up here through Pike Hell, um, denied. Run, cheese it. Well, that is just simply not economical. However, we got ourselves a good old superstar, so let's grab it and run on through. Oh, yeah. That's for all the confetti nerds. We're going to head over here also and take out some spine spines. What's up, guys? I think that's almost everything we can do. I thought there was a Goomba up here, but... Oh, hello. Look, there's a toad playing around with the streamer up by that tram. Uh, Toad, can you stop playing with the streamer? It's dangerous. Just pop on out. He doesn't look like he's playing with it. <laughs> oh, sure. Sure, don't mind if I do. I'm trapped in this thing, lady. You think I want to be gumming up the works like this? No one can get to Autumn Mountain because of me, and boy, do they enjoy reminding me of that. Wow, all right. Oh, so if he wasn't so tangled up in the streamer, we'd be able to go to a place called Autumn Mountain. It's good to know. It must be the reddish mountain over there. Yeah. But it also happens to be appearing to housing a uh, blue streamer. Wait. Oh, that blue streamer. It was so pretty, I almost didn't recognize it for what it was. After we take care of the red one, maybe we should come back here and follow the blue one. Indeed. Just hang tight. Stay loose. Ooh. All right, we'll be back. Maybe. Probably. We need 100% completion in this area. So there's that Goomba. It probably didn't spawn until after the whole superstar debacle and we're gonna head over here fill out some more of this nice nice and this should grant us an item or something no a toad even worse forget about me i'm pretty sure there was an earthquake are you all right sorry no time to wait for an answer <laughs> okay thank you i guess uh so we should probably fight this gooms shouldn't we this pair of gooms that might be in our best interest i also want to double check that little spot down there next to the the hill all right there we go so there's a hundred coins for us we just need 10 more to fill out the entourage but is there might not be anything here really nothing here okay interesting that's fine let's keep on going shall we oh i hear i hear crow coming back what in the world why are you doing that can you go away please let me fill this out and then i'll attack you i guess 
What's up, nerd? <laughs> I, it, I don't feel like I even hit him. All right, got the drop on him. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of you, and we're probably going to need to use all of our works on you. So, what are we doing here? If I bring that guy forward, uh, yeah, let's try that, actually. Let's do this. We'll do that, and then we will rotate right here, and done. Ooh. And I will use my iron boots, and you'll soon come to realize how quickly these are gonna run out on you. You'll probably be able to use a couple of them, like, maybe, I don't know, five or six times at most. But they'll at least be destroyed after you use them. And so I'm gonna make good use of them while we still can. Two, three, and four. Yeah, you you really have to be perfect on those, otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. But we're good, no damage, puzzle complete. We're the coolest. And done. Thank you for all the goods, and for not really filling up my, my stuff. All right, so, yeah, Autumn Mountain Tram. Now, before you move anywhere, we're gonna head over into this secret little cove and save 10 of these guys, but not without smacking them with my hammer first. <gasps> oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, hello. I'm starving. Just loose pages flapping, oh my god. Whoa, 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 can I'm gonna you sum all that up for me? A summary, how could I possibly sum up that torrent of toad emotions other than to say thanks? All right, later days, nerds. Uh, so that puts a pretty good dent in our toad count, but you might be a little disheartened to know that we're only three-fourths of the way through and nearly finished with the mountain, so it's not a fun time, but it's one we all have regardless. So I just say we keep on going and uh, see what happens over here. Because if we're not too careful, uh, we're gonna get a drop done on us. These guys, ooh. Okay, there they go. Uh, can I just attack one of you? Oh, I, oh, I did, I did get one, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But as we saw before, a normal jumps won't work on them. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Okay, is this just as easy as it looks? Do I get three ring turns? Because I think I can do it. Yeah, all right. Well, let's go and bring these two down. Let's go and bring these two down. Okay, I, I don't know why I was thinking I should do something dumb and like mix, mix and match, you know? All right, so we'll go and hammer, I guess. Not really much else we can do, you know? And there we go. Sometimes the angles are not really good because as you notice there, the timer kind of was blending into the sky. So, you know, it's just something you can't really help. There's an excellent. I think we still would have been able to kill without the excellent, but let's hope that uh, I don't need my words. Where do you guys come from? You were nowhere to be found. You were, were all spinies. Why are all of a sudden a bunch of parrot goombas in my fight? Anyways, for three attacks, we only get 425. Ugh. But we're gonna fill this out as the game lags significantly. Of course it does, because there's so much confetti. Man, unreal. But check it out. Look at this. This is like the realest thing. It's so bizarre when this game puts real ass textures in the game. And it's just, it's jarring, man. But check it out. Finally, the peak. What a climb. It must have been for you. Good job. Thanks, I guess. All right. Now, can we just head inside, find the streamer, and... Uh, tell me, Mario, is this what doors normally look like? It isn't, right? I wonder how we get in. Oh boy. Who on earth put the door up that high? I can't even float up there. How are you going to get in? Wait, Earth, that's it! Something happened to the Earth here to make it like this. It's not supposed to be so high up. Oh, it's a magic circle. But it's different. Maybe it has to do with the Earth elemental. Hmm, but why would the Earth Elemental really do a mean thing like this? I don't know, you tell me. Maybe my brother used that magic circle to summon it here and made it do this. That's a bit of a stretch even for someone as folded as you, Olivia. So it turns out we need to track it down and see if it can help us. If not, we'll do it by force, but unfortunately we can't do a whole lot about it. So let's keep on going a little bit and uh, smack the hell out of this because it's got yet another toad. 
Yes, finally someone read the fine print on the back of the sign. Now I'm saved and you're aware of the sign's limited liability and full terms of conditions of use. Thank you. Yeah, so we've got the sports park over there, and I can also hop on this and it will not really do anything, which is sad. But we're going to head over here, and uh, actually, before we do too much else, let's watch out, because behind here, there's another grasshopper. So we'll go slowly. Ugh. What's up, nerd? I was on the grasshopper team in high school, so this really worked out for me. I really grew into my own, you know? And uh, if we want, yeah, we're, we should probably end off here pretty soon. There's one thing that might take a little bit, so... Oh my god, look at him flying towards me. That's incredible. <laughs> Alright, so in order to save this toad, we should probably take these guys out. Holy Christ. Uh, okay. I actually forgot how we're supposed to do this. I think maybe if we just do something like that, right? And then something like this, and then just do a bunch of hammers. Great lineup. Sometimes you'll get perfects also, but um, I feel like this should still do the trick. Right? Maybe. And do it! Yeah, get him! Corporal punishment! Right on, man! <laughs> alright, alright. Do it! Here we go. Yeah, when they start having you mix and match enemy types, that's when you start really opening up the window of possibilities for things to really go wrong. Okay, that almost was too early, I think. So, Ooh, we're good. Ah, perfect. Back to the bonus. Oh, he knew it was a midair, too. Nice. All right. How'd you do, little toad? He's very angry. I can tell you I sure wasn't having a ball. Just because I was one. Grumph. All right. Well, we've got this, and we've got this. And we've got an angry toad standing next to this very conspicuous looking pipe. This pipe leads to the Earth Elemental Temple over on Picnic Road. Before those goons weighted me into a soccer ball, it was my job to stare at it angrily. Yeah, okay. Well, we're not going to head over there quite yet, but I think it is probably time for us to end things off here on Paper Mario, the Origami King. Join me next time as, oh my god, you are not very good at this, sir as we avoid this guy and run away and uh i will meet you guys here after saving this toad hooray the real question is am i the first toad to pop out of a huh block hmm, indeed but that does 100 percent of our blocks hit so hooray for us next time i guess we finish this off don't I, you know i'm going through this a lot slowly than i thought and this music is very angry so yeah I'll see you guys here next time in Paper Mario the Origami King. Thanks for watching.